Oh, I am in no fit state to be doing this now, given I'm on no sleep. Oh, I've been so busy. Oh, I'm so bloody busy. Of all my work, I don't have time to sleep. Oh, just so bloody busy. Yeah, busy with the job I don't have and the, everything I don't have. Anyway, let's talk about... um. So this... Limp Biscuit, hooray, the bag of Limp Biscuit, motherfucker, it's back. <laughs> That's what they sound like to me. The Limp Biscuit, back with a new album. And I feel like every, I don't really mind the album, but all the circumstances surrounding this album coming out just feels all really pleasant. Like they were just kind of popping again, I guess uh, uh, Fred Durst had his, had his new drip. <laughs> He had the dad vibes going on, and it was strange. But you're like, oh, the biscuit are still doing well for themselves, it seems. <laughs> and then, yeah, they released dad vibes. It's like, wow, first single in so long. And then it's sort of like the album that was saying like, oh, it's probably going to drop soon. And then it did. It came out on Halloween. It's called Limp Biscuit Still Sucks. It's got a shitty album cover that I like. <laughs> um, it looks very like early 90s, that album cover. Uh, it's such a quick, snappy album. Like a lot of tracks are just, you know, they didn't want to come in and overstay their welcome. They didn't want to come in and just make a big, grandiose album. They just kind of nice and quick and didn't need to fill it up with too much. As, as for the music itself, I do kind of think, like, I don't really like the ballads and all this kind of shit on the album. They're not that great. Aside from them, there's some good stuff. There's some <laughs> good old, the good old new metal. I mean, it is Limp Biscuit. It is what it is. I remember when, uh, when the last album came out, Gold Cobra, Gold Cobra, Gold Cobra, Gold Cobra, Gold Cobra, Rover, Rover, Gold Cobra. They had that um, that album came out, and my friend had listened to it, and I asked him like, what? What's it like? And he's like, it's Limp Biscuit, you know, it's just, it is what they do. It's just, it's the equip. He said it's the equivalent of like a 12 year old riding a chopper bike and giving people the finger. <laughs> it's just like, yo, Limp Biscuit, fuck you, do, 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 do. As in, limp, not Limp, fuck you, Limp Biscuit, Limp Biscuit, that is who we are, fuck you, <laughs> as they specify. Yeah, it's got some, um, it's got some bangers. It's got the, yeah, as, I, as I've said, I don't know how to talk about music. How do I talk about the, oh, the polyrhythmic booby doo -roozy. Um, But it's just got some bangers. But, like, literally a handful. But they all sound pretty good. I mean, I guess if you took away the ballads in this album, it'd be, like, closer to an EP. Mm, that's problematic. <laughs> Not really. Uh, yeah, no, that, it, 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 it would have been good. Like, I don't, I don't think I've ever really dug... Limp Biscuit trying to do that softer shit, uh, the ballads and everything. It's a bit like Eminem. It's a bit like when, how Eminem does it. He's just like, yeah, oh, I'm, I'm going to show a dark, you know, uh, but beautiful, <laughs> revealing side to myself. I will repair it. I blew it out. <laughs> that's, that's better singing than fucking Eminem. Eminem's more like, I'll get up in the morning by my way down, 12 years sober. <laughs> it doesn't sound like that, but that's kind of the inflection that he has. Um, it's not, but he's, uh, Fred Durst, Limp Bizkit's ballads aren't as bad. But it's a tied album. It's a tied album for all you honkies to listen to. So how about this, uh, how about this whole, um, uh, guns on sets thing <laughs> the whole prop gun thing i've been thinking like um alec baldwin he must when the travis scott thing happened he must have been like oh f fuck fucking finally thank you <laughs> this takes the heat off me oh thank fuck this is it it's not over but this part of this whole thing is over the initial kind of oh alec baldwin fuck you you murderer you murdered a woman. How fucking do you? And this whole thing. Um, and now it's just like, oh, thank Christ. I can, oh, damn, man. And that con that concert, that was way worse. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> I can take a rest for a second. 
Oh, yeah, right now he's probably just going, has just been thinking, oh my God. Here it is. Uh, this is the, uh, the cycle of the news. Everyone's going to forget my shit now because this shit is just, oh, it's so much worse. You know, we're going to need a fucking terrorist attack. We need um, another, you know, when Beirut had that thing explode, we need one of them. Like, and it has to be, it has to be big, obviously. It has to kill like 38 people or, or 100, um, you know, unless it's in America to kill two people. And then everyone would be like, ah, oh. and then Travis Scott would be like, oh, thank fuck <laughs> The cycle of the news just keeps going. Um, was this as for the guns? No, I was just thinking about the whole gun. People are retarded, like talking about, like, oh man, oh these fake guns are so dangerous. Like, you know, Alec Baldwin, he shouldn't have like fucking talked to those uh, the press when he did. But what he said was right. This, this so is, yeah, there's thousands, maybe millions of shots going off. From various different uh, guns, fake guns, fake ammunition. Uh, yeah, I guess it would be fake ammunition. The, the blanks and whatever you call them. Yeah, there's a lot of them and they don't go wrong. This hasn't happened since, uh, what, 95 when it happened with the crow. So, yeah, he's right. And now all these people, I think a lot of cinematographers now, they're just, they're just trying to be like, Oh man, we have solidarity. Oh, that, like this is retarded. Fuck up, cunts. Like all this, st like oh, we don't need another person killed. It's gonna be a long time. It's gonna be many decades before we have another motherfucker get shot on a set. Especially after this. Just like on the crow. Once that happened, people were like oh man, get it, just sort this shit out. Better take a quick look. Um, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Ooh, is that unloaded or not? Um, yeah, just, uh, more safety regulations with, uh, armorers. But this bitch that was on the, on the set, she didn't do shit. <laughs> she didn't do shit. She was just like, ah, fucking, fucking, I'm Australian. She'll be all right. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know what happened. I don't care who to blame. Um, well, yeah, yeah. So he's right. And then this whole thing got me thinking. It fucking reminded me of. When I was in high school, I was uh, I I was filming this um, short film with my friends during recess and lunch that we never ended up getting finished. But, <laughs> um, but, uh, and I had a I had a I had to buy some toy prop guns. So we had these AK forty sevens that are about like 40, 50 centimeters long. They're just small little things. I spray painted the red things at the top of them black. Uh, and we just had them and we were, uh, using them as the props. But, and then later that day, as we're waiting for our parents to pick us up, me and my friends would just like shoot each other with the guns. We we're just like, oh, ha ha. The next day in the morning, I got called to the principal's office and I was like, oh, what the fuck have I done? She was like, you know, when you, uh, I saw, apparently you were using, uh, fake guns. And uh, a lot of parents saw that as they were driving out and they felt very concerned. And I was like, what? <laughs> I didn't, and then I didn't get um, punished. I would say she was just like, "Yeah, hey, you know, you gotta, you gotta look out for that shit." You know, <laughs> I um, yeah, there was no, there was no real punishment. I, I, I don't think I don't remember, but she just said, "You know, hey, you know, don't do that again, whatever." So I left, and I was just, but I was just like, "What the fuck." This is the first, my first uh, dose of cancel culture. Oh, trying to fucking cancel my guns. I'll shoot you, bitch. With a blank, it'll still kill you. <laughs> Dumb bitch. Um, no, I just thought, like, really? Like, me and my friends goofing with these guns that are clearly, like, what? We live in Australia. Why are you so bothered by the guns? Oh, oh. Oh, it's a gun. Oh, it's obviously fake. You can buy all sorts of guns from the stores. I feel like an angry boomer right now. I feel like I was born in, like, 1965. I grew up with, like, fake guns. I'm sure there was a time you you play, you know, cowboys and Indians or whatever. Uh, bringing your guns to class, to school. Any of you Gen X people or boomers get in trouble for bringing fake guns to school and playing with them? It's a fucking toy. It's a fucking toy, and I guess 
I was going to say they look, they don't look real, but they're not pink. You know, they're not like the blue, um, time crisis guns. They get, they got them, uh, what is it? but it doesn't look real because they're small and they're plastic. And, uh, we live in Australia and they're evidently not real. So if they're not real, then what's the problem with using toy guns? Why am I, I was like, I was 16 years old when I was getting told off with this. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm not a kid. What the fuck's going on? Why are you telling me off with this? This is a waste of time. You know what? I don't care. I, I'm just happy you got me out of class, even though it's like, uh, uh, I, I don't know. I, I hope I missed out on math class or whatever. And I was just like, well, that's good. Yeah. And I don't think, I don't. I don't remember exactly, like, I don't know if she knew that we were filming or whatever. And I might have kept filming with those guns anyway. Just filming around. Um, yeah, and uh, I guess that's the end of that. <laughs> I really want to, um, yeah, now that, that was retarded. <laughs> I just want to say, I, I, was, uh, I, was, I was surprised and I felt like a kid and I was like, this is bullshit. And I still have those guns. And I'm looking at them right now. I haven't used them as props in a while, but uh, I don't. I, I'm, I'm too scared to. I'll get in trouble. Yeah, yeah. This this film that I was shooting. Um, I've been looking like I've been like really fucking uh, putting my nose in this, but um, <laughs> but <laughs> but <laughs> but looking for a um, a mini DV camera. I thought I could look online and just find one immediately, or like uh, one of those mini DV tape decks that you have. Uh, I thought I would find one and for like $30, $40 and I'm like, cool, and I'll buy it and connect it to my computer and start ripping. No, man, these cameras, some people are selling them for more than 100 or more than 200 I don't get it. Like these camcorders go for so much. It's like when I sold mine and I must have undersold it because so many people were like messaging me f a fuck ton. I, I didn't understand. I was like, this is weird. Like it's a camcorder. Just like use your phone if you want to record something. I, I don't get it. But um. But I'm looking for a mini DV camera and uh, it's a pain in the ass to look for one. You see one and it's like, oh no, it's not here anymore. It's not this thing. It's not the one you're looking for. This one's broken. Uh, we need to send it to you, but I don't want to send it to you. But how about you meet me here and this and that. I'm like, oh Christ. Because um, this film that we shot at school was shot on mini DV. Because that's how it fucking was back in the day. <laughs> Even when I went to uni... Um, to do filmmaking, like we were shooting on mini DV, we we're shooting on cameras, but yeah, they had mini DV tapes and we had the tape decks that you could, uh, bring onto a computer. Dark times, man, dark times. Uh, and I wouldn't say, a, I, I would personally not say a, a particularly good aesthetic of how the, uh, in terms of visual and audio of how it looks. It's a particular style, but it's not one that I would like to use for uh, for for filmmaking. I don't think I'd want to shoot a movie on mini TV for the visual aesthetic in, in any particular way. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I got a, I got a few tapes of them, and one of my friends has the rest because he shot it. You know what? If he shot it, he shot it with his mini DV camera. Maybe he has it. Maybe he does. I bet I'll ask him and he'll be like, oh, you know, yeah, nah, maybe. <laughs> I, I asked one of my friends if they had a deep mini DV camera to borrow it, And they're like, oh, yeah, but it's in storage. I'm like, oh, my God, I can't get a hold of one. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Why can't I just say? And I have one. I have a mini DV camera, but I don't think it has any cables to plug it in to uh, my computer. Which is strange because I've done this before. I plugged shit into my computer before, but with a Firewire cable. Um, so I, I, so, so now I, I suspect that I had a mini DV camera. I just called my mum to, and I was like, yo, where's, uh, do you have a, another mini DV camera back there? Because there must be one where you could plug it in. I don't know. Maybe my parents have thrown it out. I'll try and have a look, uh, keep looking and shit. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Actually all the, this whole thing about looking for, uh, the right um, mini D D DV camera. Fuck, man, I'm tired. I'm tired. I have no sleep. Uh, why? Did <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I sleep 10 hours every day. 
What a waste of time. I'm also just not good at bed. <laughs> oh, I don't care. I should. I might get another Red Bull. Yeah, maybe. Nah. <laughs> um, the fuck was I saying? Yeah, uh, this whole thing. Yeah. So my friend has, because he shot the film. He, I, I, I hope he has a. He must have a bunch of tapes at home, like at his parents' home. I'm gonna ask that cunt if he can um swing by, if I can swing by and, and grab him at some point. I should give him a message, maybe, because I might be heading down that. Anyway, uh, no, I, this whole thing with the mini DV camera, I'm actually getting it confused with, uh, I also want to get a vinyl player. <laughs> I just sold my vinyl player, but, but I, I mean, I, I want a different one, like the one I had, uh, like I want one that has, um, first of all, that has an Australian power plug-in, you know, because the one I bought had an American one, I was like, oh, fuck me, I had to pay $90 for a uh, a, a transformer, you know, um, which I gave to the person who bought my vinyl player. Uh, yeah, no, I want I want a, a vinyl player that can uh, a transcode to MP3, and that has a speaker on it as well, because the one I had didn't have a speaker. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was like a that was like a two hundred dollar vinyl player. I think it's worth like a hundred dollars now, and that's how much I sold it for. But the ninety dollar transformer that went with it, that was essentially free or twenty dollars um yeah no just yeah you know well, why not you know i <laughs> just i can buy one i don't know i just get the feeling that um i don't know you can buy vinyls from thrift stores for like two bucks sometimes i look at them and i'm like oh yeah what's this shit <laughs> is it on spotify i don't know i might get into that whole thing yeah i should go to a um a vinyl store look for records and see if they're available online in any capacity. Because if so, then... I don't know. Like, I don't really have a vinyl fetish. And I'm not I'm not buying records that I like. And I'm not spending, like, even more than $10 for a vinyl, you know. And it's just shitty vinyls. Like, I don't even care if they're scrunched up or anything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just the... Uh, just... Yeah, fucking hell. I really am a hip star. <laughs> this is rooted. <laughs> yeah. And I saw a vinyl player. I saw two from the same company. and But one of them has a cassette thing as well to uh, also transcode. And I realized, I'm like, oh, yeah, I've actually got some tape. I've got, like, two tapes. I have two cassette tapes that I'd like to... Tra you know, I've really got only one. I've only got the one that has just a bunch of bullshit on it. Uh, that I made when I was younger, and I could never figure out how to fucking get it on a computer. And now I will, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But those cassette things you can buy separately, so... I, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure this shit out. And I'm supposed to be... I should get myself... I'm trying to buy a drone as well. What what drone should I buy? Tell me exactly which one. It's got a... You know, it should be under $900. That should, that should be it. Uh, yeah. Alright, well, you know, fuck all that. Yeah, so, it was Halloween recently, and yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, I was listening to, uh, like, Mark, oh, Mark Norman's podcast of Sam Ruel, and they were talking about Halloween and talking about candy. Uh, wait, I wish I listened to it again, because, like, they were going over their favorite candy. Man, like when Americans talk about their favorite candy, they talk, or, or or British people, or anyone in the world, outside of like you know, let's say the country you're in, they start saying these things. And you're like, what the fuck is that? They're like, uh, oh, oh, I, lo I love me me schnoopsy goopsies. Mmm, <laughs> got that caramel center in it. <laughs> oh, I love that chocolate bar. Dingleberries. <laughs> I love me dingleberries. Love to have one after tea. <laughs> yeah, apparently there's a chocolate bar called Dingleberries. Um, I saw John Waters <laughs> on David Letterman. He brought it on. He was like, <laughs> look what this is called. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Um, <laughs> fuck was I talking about? Yeah, they were talking about their favorite candy. But it's just a bunch of American candy. Like, I don't get it a lot because... Um, you know, you just, you can't find, I mean, I, like a lot of stores have international food sections. They're mostly British though. 
And you can go to candy stores to buy Amer- American chocolate. And I've done that before, but yeah, no, it's, it's just, it's, it seems weird. I take it they don't have boost bars. Do they have Chiquitos over, over the pond? Uh, do they? It's, that's, it's, those seem, those chocolate bars seem Australian. I'm going to nominate Boost as one of my favorite chocolate bars. That's up there. I love a fucking Boost, man. I lo- um, they're better than Chiquitos. Chiquitos are cool, but they're a bit too crunchy. They're, they're cr- like a Boost bar, you fucking sink your teeth into it. It's like, it looks like it's going to be crunchy. I suppose if you put it in the fridge for a while, it, it does become that way. But uh, yeah, I, I, I do love me a, <laughs> a nice Boost bar. Um, what, what, what was it? Oh, yeah, Mark, Mark Norman said, he said his favorite... I think he said it was Reese's Pieces. Yeah, he must have, because he was like, oh, the fucking peanut butter and the chocolate. And I was like, and I happened to see him in the, in the store recently, and, and so I, I I bought one. They are, nah, fuck that. They are overrated. Fuck that. Fuck Reese's Pieces. They're not that great. Come on. <laughs> I don't know about these American uh, chocolates. Hershey's as well. Like, I'm making myself hungry right now, <laughs> even though I'm talking about American chocolate. But Hershey's... Yeah, no, they're, they're all right. They're all right, but like I don't highly regard them. And then I, I've had a Mounds bar before, and it's just like, I don't know, it's a little too sh- shoey and levery. <laughs> I mean, you know, you could have a Bounty. A fucking Bounty's better, man. Like, better better coconut taste, a, f- a more furrow coconut taste. Doesn't have, like, the texture of a shoe. <laughs> but I, I, I still like, I still like Mounds. I've only had one before. I've had one mound. <laughs> I'm trying to think whatever, like, fucking... Uh, or the British... Oh, fucking British. I don't think... I, I, I think the British chocolates don't seem to be that exciting. You look at them and they're just like... Bloody chocolate covered with more chocolate <laughs> and nougat and tea in the inside. <laughs> Bangers and mash. <laughs> All that disgusting shit. Man, you know what I saw in the international food section? Uh, they got all the British chocolates there. All the all the chocolate sweets and biscuits. <laughs> um, was it? B- Bickies. <laughs> Bickies. Anyway, um, I saw this chocolate. It was just some bullshit, like, you know, little milk chocolate buttons. Like, who gives a fuck? But the name of them... Minstrels. <laughs> and I saw this, like, last year in, like, July... And I was like, oh, oh, I started screaming and yelling and, you know, I almost took my mask off. I was that angry. I took those mint stools and shoved them up my ass. I was like, this is a fucking outrage. How could you do this? It's completely fucking racist. You should be ashamed of yourself, IGA. And then as I was like yelling like a crazy person because I thought I had a moral authority uh, and an impunity, uh, then I saw a black guy standing around like, holy shit, what's going on with this person? And I pointed at him and I was like, you, you see? He said, you should be fucking angry about this. You should be fucking livid. They're making fun of you. And then that guy's like, I didn't even know that chocolate was there. Oh, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> this is a fucking outrage. I'm the one that got the Chico's name changed. <laughs> uh, I didn't know um, Chico's was offensive. I, didn't, I don't know how that's offensive. Offensive to Chico Marks. By the way, man, Chico's, I mean, Cheekies, <laughs> they're, they're up there in terms of lollies. Fuck yeah. I love me some Chico, ch- 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 Chickas, <laughs> Chickas. <laughs> um, I love them. They're great. It's weird though, because they're like, it's a hard taste to put your fucking tongue on, because um, I think they describe it as like, you know, it's, oh, it's like a jelly baby, but it's chocolate flavored. And you're like, yeah, it's, yeah, it is. It's kind of got that chocolate, but it's a jelly. But but it doesn't taste like, exactly like just eating a chocolate, like with a different texture. It's, uh, I don't know, a little, sw- a little sweeter, something else there. I don't know. It kind of feels like there's a bit of a slight toffee, coffee flavor going on there. I don't know, man. But, uh. By any other fucking name, I love those. I love Chico's, man. I don't care what they're called. <laughs> you can call them. <laughs> you can call them Negroes. <laughs> you can call them Honkies. <laughs> that won't make any sense, but I don't. I'll still buy them. Yeah, man. Ah, uh, they're. 
Uh, I, I really should have got sleep. I'm having like hallucinations. Uh, I, <laughs> I um, I'm trying. To, uh, so what? What else could you put above it? I mean, we're starting to get um. The uh, God, I'm making myself hungry. I have to eat after this. We're starting to get the chocolate uh, covered bananas, chocolate covered uh, raspberry lollies, uh, sometimes with white chocolate. So, yeah, that shit is good. But I don't know. Uh, like, yeah, bo- bo- uh, look, I'll put bounties, ch- cheekies, boost up there. I-, I like a Milky Way. Banana m- Milky Ways would be up there. But- where the fuck are they now? It's fucking bullshit. I guess we'll just put a perky nana there, but they're not as uh, as good. Uh, what else is cool? I like a Mars bar. I like I like the new flavor they got now. Raspberry, it's fucking nice. I keep buying them because it's like I'm getting FOMO. I'm just like, God damn it, I like this flavor. Why are you gonna get rid of it, you cocksuckers? <laughs> just keep making it. <laughs> I got to buy a thousand of them and just keep them in my fridge, and I'll just have anxiety until I fucking eat the last one. Might as well kill myself after it. <laughs> Do they have any white chocolate Mars bars? If they did, they'd be slightly smaller than the white milk chocolate ones. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's shitty. Uh, I don't know. Fuck this. Uh, yeah, that, that's all I can think of off the top of my ass. I did. I got some Skittles recently because. Um, they had like a Halloween Skittles where they're like, ooh, spooky. One of the flavors is um, haunted. <laughs> ooh. Uh, but it says on the back, like, the orange flavor tastes like shit. Tastes like zombie cum. <laughs> and uh, and I had a little taste. I was like, ooh, that's disgusting. But all the other flavors taste good. So when I'm eating these Skittles, it's stupid because I'm just picking out the orange ones. I'm just like, well, these orange ones taste like ass. So what's the... What's the point of in, in all this what's the point in life <laughs> yeah no, that was that was pretty stupid i like skittles i don't i wouldn't rate them up there like let me think skittles m&ms smarties i would put above m&ms but none of these are like up there except maybe crispy m&ms and the pretzel m&ms taste exactly the same as the crispy ones except maybe a tad bit saltier so uh cool they're both in there um yeah like i wouldn't put maltesers up there what's fucking good man what's fuck i'm 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 blanking like um i know i'm just i mean obviously the marb the marble you know that marble uh the praline hails or not that's that's up there fuck yeah that's up there that's that might be the king and um caramel in general is good Oh, the marble shit, man. The caramel milk marble with the soft hazelnut. Oh, fuck. I keep seeing that in stores and I'm just like, oh. I can't get fat, man. I can't, like, you know, I'm not married. <laughs> I can't get fat yet. I got to keep looking good. I can't just get fat and be like, hey, hey, what's, uh, what's, what's going on? What's good with you, honey? <laughs> Try to pick up ladies and shit. Looking like a real uh, fat motherfucker. Nah, if I just treat him mean, keep him keen, keep him, uh, keep him paid. <laughs> just buy myself a girlfriend, really. Uh, I think that's it with the lollies. Uh, 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 uh. Hey guys, you know if you, what's your favorite fucking lolly? Leave a comment and hit the like button and subscribe and hit the bell and punch your mum and uh, remember to stand outside my house and wait for anything that comes out. Hey, it's the David Morgan Brown Experience, episode 37. Yeah, I'm the cream of the crop. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, I think that's it with lollies. On to stuff I've sold. Uh, all right, let's just, uh, fucking quickly go over this, even though I've probably forgotten a bunch of shit. Man, I'm, I'm excited. I sold my fucking camera. I sold my Olympus. Uh, it's the uh, OMD uh, well, oh, fuck, what was it, OMD, <laughs> e, uh, EM, uh, EM10 Mark III, uh, which I had, it had some problems, namely, no external mic input, uh, no reflexible viewfinder, so I used it a little bit, but I was just like, ah, oh, fuck, man, I can't fucking plug a cam- uh, a mic in this, that's some bullshit, man, 
and turning the yeah that, that pissed me off anyway so i bought a gh4 i'm looking at it right now um for a fucking great price because uh i guess I, I i probably spoke about it when it when it happened when i bought it but i'm gonna say it anyway I, the guy was selling his gh4 along with the lens a, a bit of a zoom lens on gumtree for a thousand dollars all up and i was like oh yeah it's not, that just seems like a good price i suppose and i looked up that lens and that lens is like priced at a thousand dollars in all these places and i was like well shit that is this seems like a deal <laughs> so it's cool and now i have two lenses yay <laughs> that's cool yeah uh, i don't know i'll probably use the other lens i guess <laughs> anyway yeah it's cool to have the gh4 even though i've barely used it and barely know how to use it and uh yeah i got the, i got rid of the olympus it's gone out of my life you know the cable the battery the everything i even had the box it came in and i found the manual and i was like oh yeah so, so i sold that for i think like a, a hundred dollars less than i had uh put it up for but uh, yeah i was just like ah oh, fuck it <laughs> um yeah so i was happy to get rid of that and get some fucking money in my fucking wallet because there's no way other way i i can't i can't make money if it's on the books I, I might as well not even get a job. I might as well just stay on stage. It doesn't matter. If I get a job, I'm just going to get fired anyway. Uh, and I also sold... I sold Home Alone Double Pack uh, 1 and 2 on VHS, which I've had for the longest time, since I was like 10. But yeah, uh, I, was, I was selling it to this guy, and he was like, oh, I'll show up at this time. I'm like, oh, yeah, cool. And when I went outside, like I've seen this before at my house, but um, it was like a kid, like well, like 15 years old, with his dad and he was looking at it and, and he was like uh, yeah cool I'll, I'll, I'll get it and i was like that's so weird that's really weird for like a, a kid to be into vhs i don't get that i don't know i don't know i just feel like it's first of all a lot of people that like i've had people come over and buy vhs's off me some of them look like they might be a tad younger than me but i think if you've grown up with it and then you have a bit of the nostalgia and then fucking whatever i guess you have that associated uh i i, I guess like i i understand that whenever um yeah but for like a kid like how many jobs do you have to just be like you can just spend that money on on shit i understand i know that like p people my age i know someone who uh one of my friends he uh has a bit of a laser disc collection like he didn't i don't believe he had them when he was growing up, when it was just like, that was what you had, but now he has it as a collectible. I don't think he has that many, though. In fact, I've never even seen it. I've never seen his fucking Laserdisc uh, player. I bet he's lying. I bet he's fucking lying. Just to impress me. <laughs> like, yeah, bro. I totally got a Laserdisc player. Yeah. Got a, got a few uh, Laserdiscs. Got Terminator 2. Got Jurassic Park. Yeah. I'm like, oh, wow. Can I see him, man? He's like, oh, nah, not right now. They're in storage. <laughs> nah. <clears throat> that fucking reminds me of, um, look, this, this, uh, this film that, that I was filming in, uh, high school. <clears throat> I, uh, I, I had, I, I needed like these guys that look like guards that had like masks and everything on. Um, and I was talking to this fucking weird guy in, in my class um and he was like hey I, 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 um in, in my basement like i've got a bunch of masks like they're like uh gas masks like uh, vintage ones oh I, I can bring a bunch of them uh for you when you need them i got like like five or seven of them i was like oh fuck yeah man that'd be great if i could uh, borrow those and then the next day uh, i see him and i was like oh hey you know how they go and he's like oh. uh, first of all when he, when he said that I, I, when he said that like that he could bring them in I didn't entirely believe this guy because this guy was already known to be a a fucking bullshit. This guy fucking lied all the time, and he was really Christian. It's really weird. <laughs> like he he seemed unassuming and nice. I guess he is. I guess he was nice, but you're just like, what the? F why are you keep lying and shit? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Anyway, yeah. Um. So that, when I when I said like, oh, hey, uh, whatever the, the mark, he was like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, man. You know, I went down to the basement at the heart. You know, it's just uh humidification you know the masks the uh, shrunk you know like they're just really small you know <laughs> it should have been like you know oh yeah just take a photo 
Why don't you take a photo of that and show me, bitch? <laughs> they went, oh, my, my camera's not working. <laughs> my, my, ca- my camera. It's, oh, man, that was the worst Trump. Imp- I'm, tr- I'm trying to just slip into a Trump impression. That was the worst. <laughs> I can't do it. I feel so ashamed. Oh, no. I was watching, I've been watching uh, a little bit of like Shane Gillis and fuck, man. I'm, I'm feeling so jealous right now of him. And, oh, why do I even bother? Anyway. I don't think I've sold anything else. <laughs> I don't think... Uh, uh, oh, my God. Oh, what a bunch of dead air. Uh, oh, yeah, I sold a hard drive. Oh, yeah, I sold that for like too little. Uh, $20 fucking hard drive. It was an old hard drive, though, and it was like a, a backup one that you have to plug into its own power source. Man, fuck that. Fuck a hard drive that has its own power source. Yeah, it was all. It was older. Uh, probably spent like two hundred dollars on it. Not me. I think my dad bought it. It's so great that my dad bought so many things, uh, and then like never used them, <laughs> and then he's just given them to me. He's just like, here, if you want to try and sell this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fucking. Uh, yeah. That's that's it. Uh, and now I'm just looking at things that. Oh God. I'm, I'm just gonna be so happy with the day when I just fucking. Everything sold. I, I'm not going to be happy, actually. I'm going to be very, like... I'm going to be like, what do I do now with my life? Uh, yeah, what do I do now? How do I make money now, motherfucker? How am I supposed to make money? I, gotta, I might as well just sell my body and sell my house and sell the oxygen that I'm taking in. I d- yeah, I don't know. I don't know how... I don't know. I'm starting a job later in the month, so... We'll see how that goes. See if I get... See if it's the third job i get fired from this year <laughs> let's see how that goes anyway um just uh just checking uh, do i have anything else to talk about well i don't have anything else to talk about uh no that's it <laughs>